night. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make an EHS uh, label. And uh, we are going to use the GHS level creator by Siri Pro. So let's start, okay? Well, uh, how's, as you know, the first step uh, you have to do is to uh, have find out the uh, safety sheet of the chemistry you are looking for. So in this occasion, we are going to make um, GHS uh, level from uh, sodium salt. Okay, so uh, let's start. Okay, uh, for this example, I'm going to show you uh, some clues that can help you to make um, uh, this uh, level more easy and an uh, easy way to find uh, safety data sheet uh, of chemistry uh, in an easy way, okay? Well, uh, in my case, I use Google. Uh, the first step, I, I just to, 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 to use the, the, this, this uh, browser to find the sheet, I, I put the word CAS as uh, sodium. Okay. The first step I I looking for the is the number of CAS. I cut then I put again the, the name the number the CAS number and then they put uh, the page sigma Aldrich. Okay. I enter this page. Okay. For example, um, the first results of my of this uh, search are uh, sodium in cubes, trace metal bases, lumps, AC reagent. Let's make an example of, of, I don't know, trace metals. Let's put SDS. Okay. One thing is important. You have to understand that the SDS, that this page look, uh, shows you it's uh, in order of your country you have to make sure that you are looking for in their in your country that you need so let's start my our search let's put again the case number for sodium okay i find the uh, we search cubes. Okay, let's put SDS for cubes. As you see, the safety data sheet from sodium, it's in English. In your, in your country, for example, uh, we choose uh, United States, and then you have your uh, safety data sheet by H, uh, H, 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 D, is K. You have the 16, 16 chapters. Okay, uh, we can. Right, uh, right now, we start to make our level, okay? Let's start. We have opened uh, 
DHS level Crayola Basic. Uh, you can easily find this uh, software uh, using uh, our um, link in this uh, the video. You can uh, click the link that I put uh, in in the in this page. Okay. Well, let's start. The first you have to do, uh, the first thing that is um, this application asks you is a SKU or Worksite Identification Code. This is the first thing that you have to put in order to create your, your uh, DHS level. Uh, where do you find this information? Well, this information is uh, free data that you have, you can put. Uh, we recommend that it's this number. Uh, uh, it's um, can be the same number of your uh, workplace identification code. Okay. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the recommendation that our DHS level creator give us. We only put the, the we give click on select AKA two and this recommendation is 130. Okay. The, the next it's uh, the, the software asked us to put the name of the hazardous chemical substance of mixture or mixture. Okay. So the number, the name is the product name that is in the safety data sheet. In this case, it's sodium. We can select and then copy, then paste it. Okay. The next is the hazardous chemical substance ID. Okay. In this case, uh, we, we look for the, the case, the same number we we, we find is the case number is this copy and then paste it okay well and um, the next information it's a free information yeah if you want to put it it's okay if you don't want it's okay too but uh, I, we put it in this uh, DHS level creator because in some cases uh, it's important, for example, in mixtures of some substance, you want to know what case number are included in this mixture. So it's a uh, free data information that you can put or not. Okay. In this case, let's make this exercise looking for the chapter three in the data sheet, chapter three. Okay, two, three, composition and information ingredients. Okay, in this case, it says that for the sodium, is it's uh, sodium has 90% Okay, you can put this information, copy, for it, and then put the percentage that is marked in the data sheet, 10%, okay? You put it, okay? Right. Okay, the next step is to put the sign up word. What is the sign up word? Is this sign up word danger? Danger. So you can choose danger. Okay, like this. And we are in the two section hazard data. 
The next step is put the answer statements or letters A. So you return to the safety data sheets and you're looking for the hazard statements. Okay, it's very easy. Only select the H phrases, copy, then return, paste it. Okay, I recommend you to put this information like this. Okay, uh, in some cases, only for uh, format purposes, you have to uh, make sure that this information is in the correct uh, in the correct way. So if you realize at least this information is correct and it's is well. Okay, enter. The next information it's the prudential advice letters P. Okay, uh, precautionary statements. Okay, let's copy this information. Okay. We copy, 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 copy. Like this. Okay. Copy. And paste it. Very easy. Very easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have to, to pay, pay attention for this detail of uh, we have to be sure in special the precautionary statements we don't have any spaces between uh, each uh, phrase because in order to um, to put in the best way in the level, um, it's better that you have this information like this way. Okay. I hope you can understand me. Yeah. I hope so. Well, then, uh, okay, we finished this part. We continue with the software data, uh, three section, software data. Okay, the first thing it asks us is the name of the manufacturer. We'll turn to the data safety data sheet. We found, we've uh, search in the product and company identification section one to three details of the software or the safety data sheet you copy the name of the manufacturer copy paste super address okay is the next information okay copy paste okay then emergency numbers, telephone, emergency phone. Okay. Remember this information. It's necessary in order to comply with global harmonization system. Okay. Statements. Okay. Then we yeah we have finished the three section. The, then we continue with the for classification data. Uh, so in order to, okay, you we can to write down this information of classification, looking for in the section two, the classification is in fact in the section dot two dot one. And it says that it's uh, the first classification is skin corrosion category one B. Okay, a skin, a skin classification, let's looking for, okay. Okay, a skin 1B.
A, 1B. Here, here we go. This is one. Then, the series ice damage category one. Wow. Okay, series ice. And then, can scenario T category one A. Wow. It's impersonant. Then, category one. Oh, one, one A. Oh, let's find. Okay, I think there's only one. Okay. One. And then it's everything. Okay. Well, the last part. It's to put um, no, no, no. It's we come back and we put the uh, the safety protectional person uh, the personal protective equipment. So we can find this information in eight chapter. Okay. Well, face face of shell, for example, personal protective equipment, a face protection, face shield, and uh, safety glasses. Use equipment with high protection, tested and proven in the part of the government standards. Okay. Hand uh, with gloves. Okay, for the skin. It recommends complete suite protection and air, okay? Well, it, it says when risk assessment shows air purification respirators, appropriate use, okay, this, it, it recommends respiratory uh, recommendation, okay, let's put it, okay? We, we put Gloves, we put safety glasses, full safety suit, and a safety mask. Okay. Well, I think we have finished our information level. Okay, that's all. Then you, you can choose the, 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 the format level. But first, we're going to choose, we're going to save this information. It's important, listen up. You always, always, always save these information, okay? Let's, let's save it. Okay, then let's find lab types. We put this information. So, what kind of label do you want to print? Well, for this exercise, I would choose this one, level three. Okay, I can put the information only putting putting. For example, it, this is lead oxide, but if I put here sodium, yes, well, yeah, there's the information, sodium, the ish statements, the precautionary statements, the, the word danger, the pictograms we, we watched in the safety data, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well,
we can send this information only selecting then I'm going to the section of copy I copy as an image as a printer I put a set and then I looking for PowerPoint I open PowerPoint mm -hmm. We can make any kind of thing we can make format with a lot of printing levels, for example. This is very useful, for example, if you work in a laboratory, you have to you have to print a lot of letters for containers. You have you can do it like this way. Or for another way, you can only put here save us. can put like PDF and then you can put it sodium and then it converts it in PDF. Wow there we go. We have our Level. Okay. So that's all. If you want to download um, this application, only uh, click the link that I'm going to put in this video. Uh, thank you very much.